The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. You might not have heard about this town. The name of the town was Queenstown in Ireland. Now, in the turn of the century, Queenstown, Ireland, had a very small but a thriving Jewish community. The rabbi there was in constant contact with the rabbanim in Manchester in England, and the community in Queenstown, Ireland, began to flourish and grow. The rabbi, Rabbi Victor Lerner, he was a very dynamic rabbi who led his kihila with great courage. Very few Jews at that time in Ireland. Well, after Shahrit one day, a father and a son comes up to Rabbi Victor Lerner. Rabbi, my son is about to get bar mitzvah. Would you be able to please teach him the, the reading of the Torah, to read his parasha, to make a dirasha? The rabbi said, absolutely. This is a simcha for all of us. I would love to learn with your son for his bar mitzvah. Then the father said, but wait, rabbi, the bar mitzvah is not going to be here in the shul, though. Rabbi Lerner looks at the father and says, well, where else are you going to make it? There's only one shul in the whole city. He says, well, you know, you know, I'm well to do. And I decided I'm going to make a new bar mitzvah that nobody else has seen before. Oh, this bar mitzvah is going to be a wow. I'm going to take all my family and my guests and going to take them on this beautiful cruise on an expensive ocean liner. And there we're going to travel all different countries in the world and make the bar mitzvah on this wonderful, luxurious cruise. Rabbi, please teach him the bar mitzvah reading. But the bar mitzvah is not going to be here. It's going to be on a cruise, an ocean liner. But Rabbi, you're invited to come. Rabbi Lerner says, well, I'll tell you the truth. I have to stay here with the kihila. But if that's the way you want to make a bar mitzvah, that's up to you. And with those words, it's the next day that Rabbi Lerner sat down with the young boy bar mitzvah to be and began to teach him his bar mitzvah reading. And as they were reading and learning together, the boy turns to the rabbi and says, Rabbi, tell me the truth. What do you think? I'm not so happy about this bar mitzvah on a cruise. I would much prefer to make the bar mitzvah here in the shul in front of Aaron Kodesh with all my friends. I don't know where my father got this wild, fancy idea from. I don't know who he's looking to compete with. Rabbi, what do you think? And the rabbi shrugs, doesn't want to, God forbid, come between father and son. And he says, I'll tell you the truth. You are right. Your bar mitzvah belongs here in a shul, not on an ocean liner, not on a cruise. But if that's what your father wants, you have to respect his wishes. Well, a few days later, the bar mitzvah boy-to-be's father comes into shul and he walks up to Rabbi Lerner and says, Rabbi, what did you tell my son? The rabbi says, I didn't say anything. The father says, no, no. My son just came to me now and said that he's not comfortable making a bar mitzvah on a cruise. He wants to make the bar mitzvah here in shul and he's not going to go on the cruise and he's not going to read his bar mitzvah parcher there. The rabbi said, wait, that was his idea. I only agreed with him. The father looked at Rabbi Lerner and said, really? Why do you think so? Rabbi Lerner said, take a look. How are the, all the other boys in the bar mitzvahs going to feel? Their bar mitzvahs being made on a piece of sponge cake and a little piece of herring and a schnapps. And your son's bar mitzvah is on an ocean liner cruise across the world. Who are you showing off to? Who are you competing with? Keep the bar mitzvah humble and holy. That will be the greatest first lesson in the manhood of your son's bar mitzvah. Be humble, not looking to show off to others, not looking to get others to look at you, to one-up them, or else you'll turn the shul into a tirade. And each time someone's going to try to outdo the next guy, please, I'm begging you, reconsider, make the bar mitzvah here in shul simply where it belongs. Those passionate words of Rabbi Lerner hit the heart of this bar mitzvah boy's father, and he agreed. Although he purchased the tickets, he gave them all back, and the bar mitzvah was made in the shul where it belonged, and how beautiful a bar mitzvah it was. Shabbat came, and the young boy read, and he read like a champ, and the bar mitzvah was beautiful in its simplicity, on sponge cake and a little schnapps. The next day, Sunday, this young now bar mitzvah boy gets on his bicycle. He rides out to the port, there in Queenstown, Ireland, and he smiles at this big, beautiful cruise ship. The day he was supposed to get onto the ship with his family and friends on that luxurious bar mitzvah that he turned down, he smiled 
As slowly the ship pulled out of its docks, he picked up a white handkerchief, and with the crowd, he waved away as the Titanic pulled out of the ports of Queenstown, Ireland. Could you imagine? Simplicity. Am Israel, a people who don't need to look at what others have. Happy with what Borei Olam gives us and knows the secret of protection of Ayin Hara. Don't look at others and what they have so that even if they look at you, you'll be protected from Ayin Hara. Legendary words. Matovu ohalecha Yaakov mishkinotecha Yisrael. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.